The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of Deuteronomy. The priest will then take the basket from your hand and lay it before the altar of Yahweh your God. In the presence of Yahweh your God, you will then pronounce these words. My father was a wandering Aramean who went down to Egypt with a small group of men and stayed there until he there became a great, powerful, and numerous nation. The Egyptians ill-treated us. They oppressed us and inflicted harsh slavery on us. But we called on Yahweh, God of our ancestors. Yahweh heard our voice and saw our misery, our toil, and our oppression. And Yahweh brought us out of Egypt with mighty hand an outstretched arm with great terror and with signs and wonders. He brought us here and has given us this country, a country flowing with milk and honey. Hence, I now bring the first fruits of the soil that you, Yahweh, have given me. You will then lay them before Yahweh your God and prostrate yourself in the presence of Yahweh your God. And our response is taken from Psalm 91. You who live in the secret place of Elion, spend your nights in the shelter of Shaddai, saying to Yahweh, my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. No disaster can overtake you. No plague come near your tent. He has given his angels orders about you to guard you wherever you go. They will carry you in their arms in case you trip over a stone. You will walk upon wild beasts and adder. You will trample young lions and snakes. Since he clings to me, I rescue him. I raise him high since he acknowledges my name. He calls to me and I answer him. In distress, I am at his side. I rescue him and bring him on. And our second reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. What does it say then? The word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith, the faith which we preach, that if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe with your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. It is by believing with the heart that you are justified and by making the declaration with your lips that you are saved. When Scripture says, no one who relies on this will be brought to disgrace, it makes no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is the Lord of all, and His generosity is offered to all who appeal to Him. For all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the desert for 40 days being put to the test by the devil. During that time, he ate nothing, and at the end, he was hungry. Then the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to turn into a loaf. But Jesus replied, Scripture says, Human beings live not on bread alone. Then leading him to a height, the devil showed him in a moment of time all the kingdoms of the world and said to him, I will give you all this power and their splendor, for it has been handed over to me for me to give it to anyone I choose. Do homage then to me, and it shall all be yours. But Jesus answered him, Scripture says you must do homage to the Lord your God. Him alone you must serve. Then he led him to Jerusalem and set him on the parapet of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said to him, throw yourself down from here. For Scripture says he has given his angels orders about you to guard you. And again, they will carry you in their arms in case you trip over a stone. But Jesus answered him, 
Scripture says, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Having exhausted every way of putting him to the test, the devil left him until the opportune moment. The Gospel of the Lord.